first individual is Dr. Marcia Hermanson. She is a professor of theology at, at the Department uh, of Theology at Loyola University. She has also had her, got her PhD from Islamic Studies from the University of Chicago. And she had, did extensive work on Shah Wali Allah. So we asked Dr. Hermanson to come up and say a few words. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa salatu wa salam ala Nabi al-Kareem wa ala ashabi wa azwaji ajma'in wa ba'd. I have been asked to welcome you all here tonight on behalf of the Ikra team. I'm Marcia Hermanson, as we just heard, I'm on the board and I direct uh, Islamic World Studies, which is um, an interdisciplinary minor at Loyola University and mashallah we now have 60 uh, students this year who were minoring in Islamic World Studies so you can see that the interest in Islamic education is growing in the Islamic schools but even the interest in knowing about Muslims and the Islamic world is growing in the mainstream uh, American society. Tonight we're gathered here to support an organization, ICRA and to celebrate tw its 27 years of service to the Muslim community, especially to the children and youth in Chicago, in the whole United States, and even globally. We are all eager to hear later this evening our guest speaker, Dr. Mozamal Siddiqui, who's come all the way from California uh, to speak to us, and whose message, Islamic education, the best gift we can offer the world encapsulates the vision and mission of Ikra throughout the years and into the future. The command, as we just heard in the recitation of the Holy Quran, the command Ikra, read, read the book of God and read the book of nature, inspires and guides Muslims and indicates the central role that education plays in our faith. Now then more than ever, now more than ever, there's a hunger among young Muslims to learn, understand, and integrate the wisdom, resources, and the light, the nur of our heritage, especially the teachings of the Quran and the example and the teachings of our Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. So to be able to respond to the challenges of this age with confidence, clarity, and compassion. Yesterday, in this very banquet hall, I and some of the other guests present attended a ceremony honoring a young 13-year-old boy who'd recently completed his hits or memorization of the entire Quran. Both he and his father were born in the United States. Back home in India, we can hardly imagine that in the grandfathers, the great-grandfathers, or even in the early earlier generations, that there would be such a phenomenon of young people becoming hufas outside the confines of much narrower madrasa training. Today the aspiration in the Muslim community is that a person should be Islamically educated and get a medical, a PhD, or another degree and be well-rounded in a whole range of other ways so as to contribute in multiple areas. We need to recognize that something remarkable and positive is changing in our community in terms of the depth and commitment to Islamic education and the pioneering role that institutions such as Ikra have played in making possible the dissemination of this gift to our community in an accessible format. In a related development since the 1990s, the growth of full-time Islamic schools in the United States has been phenomenal. And there is a growing need to provide these institutions with quality materials and to keep them up to date and appealing. Before Ikra, many of the books and materials that had been available to represent Islam for children were produced in earlier decades. And they still carried the stamp of the age of colonialism. They sometimes were apologetic adversarial, they just didn't fit in. ICRA was among the first, perhaps it was the first group to try and see, to see and to try and meet this need at the organizational level. This has not been an easy task, 
In some regards, we could say that Ikra needed to invent the wheel or forge the template so that others could follow. From its inauguration in the early 1980s, Ikra has had to initiate and organize the production and design of an entire new curriculum of Islamic education to meet the need of the growing number of teachers and the growing number of weekend and full-time schools, the homeschoolers, parents, children, and the general public. The ICRA team has established branches in India, South Africa, and Singapore. It's made solid connections in Europe, Canada, and the Caribbean in more than 40 countries, both Muslim majority and Muslim minority contexts. ICRA has also moved into the high-tech age with a state-of-the-art website, implementation of Google tracking, and integration of the latest management software systems. These are important investments in the future of ICRA as a self-sustaining organization. However, things do not remain static. There are tremendous efforts and ongoing costs involved in designing curricular material. In order to maintain the highest standards and meet the needs of children and the public, the curriculum keeps on being developed, renewed, and revamped from kindergarten to the end of high school level. And now there are even greater needs for higher level Islamic studies in the high school grades, responding to the increased standard of learning in our full-time Islamic schools. What lies ahead? The special place of Islamic knowledge needs to be preserved, respected, and passed on to today's Muslim youth. In terms of our theme tonight as the best gift we can offer the world, Islamic education is a gift that keeps on giving. And after all, that is the meaning of Saldaka Jaria. It's time to revisit, retool, and re-implement the Ikra vision for the coming generation. It's also time to, keep, to reach out to new audiences of youth, both here and in the Muslim world. I hope I've alerted you to the urgency of the need and convinced you of the unique value of what we already have to build on, the ICRA curriculum. ICRA needs your generous support to continue to provide leadership in developing intellectual and educational resources for our community. We need to bring on board and train those who will bear the responsibility of producing the next generation of curricular materials. The books that will inspire and inform our children and society as a whole, that will give them the confidence and tools to share the gift of this truth with others in their communities and the broader societies. If you believe that Islamic education is the best gift that Muslims can offer the world, please join us in supporting Ikra. As the Quran states in Surah Baqarah, which person will loan to Allah a beautiful loan that Allah will double for his credit and multiply many times? It is Allah who contracts or expands, and to him shall be your return. This gift is a deployment of your resources, Allah, for yourselves, for your children, for your ummah. Please support the work of Ikra in providing the highest standards of Islamic education today and in the future. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.